Hello and welcome to the Sky Food channel. Today we the start of a new breeding project with one of the insects that um, I believe have a big potential uh, to one day become probably industrially produced edible insects for human consumption. We are speaking about the palm weevil, Rynchophorus ferrugineus. Um, I do not uh, spend too much time now on giving you information about this uh, beetle. I just show you uh, one here. And, and if you want to have some more background information about the species and the potential of this species, go to see the interview with Australian entomologist Justin Whittle in the same channel just go in the playlist one step back and you will see the interview today I'm more or less just starting the breeding project with some pairs of these nice beetles that you see here he's shy he doesn't like uh, bright light so much so that's why he's running away even though probably he's a little bit hungry because he's waiting now already a pretty long time inside of this box but today uh, we will change this situation for these beetles and prepare a box for egg laying. So, um, what can we do about that? From what I heard, it would be good to make a combination of substrate. So, um, as you can see in the video about the breeding of the palm weevil in Chumpon in Thailand, they normally use a rice husk mixed with uh, pig feed, mixed with molasses and of course mixed with coconut. And uh, Justin Whittle told me that one of the good re recipes is that they use grinded green coconuts as a base material and add some more um, nutritional elements then later on and this is up for uh, experimentation. I just show you what I did um, as a basic material. I mean the, the good thing about the palm weevil can be that we do not have to give the palm weevil a food that is also staple food for humans. So if he's eating residues of coconut production uh, like also the uh, residue of the coconut fiber material you can buy it in, in blocks like this. If you put some water uh, to it it has a pretty good uh, consistence uh, that keeps a lot of water then this is one of the things that I put in the other thing is flake soil that's fermented sawdust material and then I put in the residue of the beer production uh, it has some interesting protein content and also of course a bran because bran uh, not only has some carbohydrates but also a lot of important minerals that could be used uh, by the larvas to, uh, to grow fast and hopefully that also the adults like to put in a lot of eggs and then yeah of course this one coconuts so where can I have it in Switzerland we don't have trees where coconuts grow but we have some uh, Asia shops uh, that sell coconuts just for drinking like this it's not very only very healthy, but it's also the best substrate probably for the egg laying of Rynchophorus ferrugineus, the red palm weevil that um, originally is a pest insect of the soccer palm, but it's a kind of uh, kept by forest people as an important uh, source of protein. And they also not only eat the carbohydrates of the soccer palm, the starch of the soccer palm, but also of course as a delicacy the big and fat crops of Rynchophorus ferrugineus that hopefully we will see in some weeks here also. So what I did, I just crushed all of these coconuts. Inside you see there is some uh, coconut material. This will be, this will of course rot very fast. So this is also uh, has a, a lot of nutritional components in here. And there's an interesting fiber material also for the adults to hide uh, beneath. So I will mix now all these things together into 5.8 liter boxes. And then I will put one pair into each 
box. I already have prepared the mixture here in this box with the, with the main ingredients. That is all these four things mixed together. As you can see, if I press the material, there is some water coming out, but it's not a it's not water that comes out just like this, so on the, also on the bottom of the box there is no water standing. So, and now I, I just put in some of this coconut material. I would guess that it would be a good idea to put a, a one complete coconut with all these fibers here into that, into that substrate and of probably also to cover it a little bit and I think it can be compressed also a little bit like this it will start rotting and smelling pretty bad if you go to the interview with Justin Whipple uh, we will talk a little bit about that also in the interview breeding of Rungevoort is a pretty smelly uh, thing, especially if you need pig feed. So let's see what we can do about it here. And then for the adults, uh, so that they have a nice place to hide and also something good to eat, I put in some banana and some of this. So, and I can use some more material for the covering of the beetles. So that's it. I also made some holes on each side, one, two, three, four, three millimeter. A little bit aeration also in the, the lid of the box. There are some holes, two, four, six, eight holes for an aeration on the top. And now of course we need the beetles. So where are they? Here are the females. I put two females in each box. They are really nice beetles, look at them. It's a really pretty little one here. One is there. And then we need uh, a male, some males. So in here, so well, good. Now look, it's the first pair here of Runchophorus ferrugineus. Let's hope, let's hope they like the substrate that I have prepared here. And now I go on with the other five boxes. And I would guess that in around one month or two and a half weeks we can have a first look whether something happened inside the boxes for the eggling of Runchophorus ferrugineus, the red palm weevil. Thanks for watching.